What's up, everybody? Wes Adams here for Autodesk. We're at the One Market Gallery in San Francisco. And I have the pleasure of talking to Ryan Tudhoe from Atomic Fiction and Todd Privis from Zinc Render. Ryan, can you tell me a little bit about your last project? Sure, yeah. Well, first of all, thank you for having us. This is the GDC party of the year, obviously, um, the beautiful One Market. Um, so thank you so much for, for, for the opportunity here. Um, we've been very busy. We're very fortunate. And we've been uh, working with on a bunch of cool projects that uh, are coming out this summer that we can't quite talk about yet. Uh, but one of the things that uh, we, we are talking about is all the work that we did on Looper and Flight, uh, two movies that came out this past year um, and uh, have won some awards for. And uh, one of the game changers for us as a, as a young studio uh, was using Zinc and rendering in the cloud. Um, which we've talked a lot about and uh, happened to just run into Todd here at, at this little uh, cocktail soiree and decided that we should get in front of camera and talk to you about it. Awesome. So, you know, tell me a little bit about ZincRender.com. Like, what's, what do you offer and, and how does it help people like Ryan and his company do what they do? Sure. We offer on-demand uh, rendering for CG, both uh, for Autodesk with Maya. Uh, we support V-Ray and Mental Ray. And it really allows studios such as Ryan's or individuals or freelancers or people that don't want to go ahead and build out the infrastructure that it takes to have a massive render farm. They can use Zinc Rendering uh, to render in the cloud and just render on demand. So we've taken rendering from a, a standard large build out to utility. So you're really only paying for the hour um, what you use. And when you turn it off, you're paying nothing. Helps you work with the ebbs and flows of production. That's awesome. You know, what does it mean for a studio like you if you guys are, are ramping up and down between projects? How does that help you out? Well, it's it's huge on the business side, but what we're really excited about is, uh, you know, uh, my partner Kevin Bailey and I are both artists at heart, and so what what what's really exciting about this is how it it enables an artist to have, you know, way more power at their fingertips than they ordinarily would. You get to see your work back faster. Um, you get to have the power of, of a major studio at your fingertips, and uh, you know everyone knows that waiting for rendering is really you know hampers the uh, the creative process. So, for for the artist, for the person who's really on the box and trying to make great looking images, it's a complete game changer, and it, it completely revolutionizes uh, everything that we do at, at our company. It's interesting because so many of the hurdles that you're facing and so many of the benefits that you're getting out of a product like this are really similar to what we see with customers in the games industry. You know, how might this affect somebody who's in game development also, a small studio, medium studio, what would it mean for them? Well, I think, again, going to what Ryan said, in terms of uh, any sort of rendering you're doing, any CG animated cutscenes you're doing, you're able to get feedback and preview of those frames uh, way faster than you would before. If you're a, a small studio working on a cutscene, let's say you only had a farm capacity for 10 nodes, with Zinc, you can kick off 100 nodes, 500 nodes if you need to turn around a shot uh, in short time to go ahead and see the results. And again, none of the infrastructure you need behind that. We manage all of that directly from the cloud. And if people want to learn more, where can they head to? Uh, go to zincrender.com or rendermaya.com. Easy to remember. And Ryan, if people want to learn more about your latest projects, where can they head? Uh, just go to atomicfiction.com and uh, check us out. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you so much.